On this episode of Eat Sleep Drive, we're transforming the rear end of my ISF with cheap eBay parts, some of which work and some of which don't. Hello everyone, my name is Kurt and you're watching Eat Sleep Drive. We're back here with the ISF and we're doing some cosmetic mods this time. I wanna update the rear end of this car. You're gonna see some taillights go on, which I think are really gonna modernize this thing. You're also gonna see this carbon fiber wing go on, which I'm super stoked about, and then maybe even this rear diffuser. But first of all, the main reason behind this is the fact that my rear spoiler is fading. Apparently this is a common issue for ISFs, which is a huge bummer, but I'm gonna replace it with this sort of duckbill style spoiler. And I hope it looks pretty good. We're gonna find out today, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And I'm gonna give you guys all the links in the description if you wanna try it on your own car. The rear wing is held on with two fasteners, which are located under the trunk. So the first thing you need to do is remove the plastic pull tabs and carpet to expose the trunk lid itself. With those two 10 millimeter nuts removed on both ends, it's time to start prying the spoiler up, which is just held on with double sided tape at this point. You'll definitely want some form of plastic wedge as to not damage the paint. Take your time so you don't royally mess up the paint. Now it's time to remove the adhesive, which isn't fun. But first we need to clean all the crud off this area so we don't further mess up the paint when we're removing the adhesive. If you've ever removed double-sided 3M tape before, especially very old tape, you'll know it's a total pain in the ass. Recently, the best way I've found to do it is to buy one of these eraser wheels. I'll put a link in the description to the one I bought on Amazon, but essentially it's a soft rubber disc that you attach to a drill, and you spin it along the adhesive where it uses friction to remove the 3M tape. This method will require some polishing afterwards since it lightly mars the paint, but trust me you don't want to do this by hand otherwise it will take all day and your fingers will be destroyed. We spent a bunch of time polishing out the imperfections in the paint, but fortunately the new wing covers most of the area that was under the old wing so any imperfections for the most part aren't visible. I applied 3M tape along all the edges and some in the open areas. This is probably more of an art than a science, so do whatever makes sense to you for whatever wing you choose. Next, before exposing the adhesive, I mocked up the wing and marked the edge where the wing would end up with painter's tape. This helped me align the wing when it was time to finally stick it to the trunk. The last thing to do before applying the wing for good is to cover the pre-existing alignment holes with some sort of tape. This will prevent any water from making its way under the wing and into the trunk. Finally, we can apply the wing. Take your time and it certainly helps to have a friend around for this. Trust the areas you marked with painter's tape to help you align the wing, and then gently but firmly push down to ensure the wing is fully adhered. I'm really happy with how this came out. It's really subtle, especially looking from the rear of the car, but also still gives the car character. Regardless, it certainly looks better than the faded wing that was on before. So it's time to move on to this little rear diffuser. And I was just coming up under here to mock this up and this isn't even close to fitting here. 
So it's supposed to be held up here with like adhesive, but look at, there's these like side spat things right here that are in the way that will never work with this. And also, where am I supposed to even put the adhesive right here? Like that's where the splitter should go. So this thing is junk. I'm not gonna put a link to this in the description because it is absolute trash. Do not buy it. Maybe it works for the IS-250 or 350, but it definitely doesn't work for the ISF. So the diffuser was a bit of a bust, but the next mod I'm really excited about. I found these taillights on Amazon and really thought they would make the car look a lot more modern. So it's time to put these on and find out. The first thing that we have to do for these taillights is open the trunk so we can get access to the inner part of the tail light right here. This is the part where having an interior trim removal kit comes in handy. I'll put a link to the one that I use in, uh, from Amazon in the description below, but it's really handy for removing little tabbies like this. You just come in here, get under it, and you're able to easily remove these little fasteners that are holding this carpet in, which we need to get behind to change the tail lights. Now you have a little wiring harness to remove right here, two fasteners right there, and then one fastener in here. There's one more hidden in this little access hole and these are 10 millimeter fasteners. That's the inner side done. Let's move to the outside. In here you got a similar situation with one of these clips right here. And then you have a Phillips head for this fastener right here. Here we go with three more fasteners in here and then a harness that needs to be removed and then we could slide this tail light out. The harness that you have to unplug is down here and you kind of have to do it blind, but fortunately it doesn't have the clip on it. It's just the male end that comes out and then your tail light can come out. Moment of truth. I think it looks absolutely great. The fitment is okay. There's a little bit of a gap on the right side on this right tail light. So it's not ideal, but it really brings this car into sort of like 2020 and makes these look a lot more modern. This looks a lot more like the latest generation IS tail lights. And I think it has really updated the look of this car. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't install the rear diffuser, which is a bummer because this thing sucks, but maybe I could find another one online and we can continue updating the exterior, but love the wing, love the tail lights. Let me know what you guys think. Next week, I'm installing an exhaust finally on this car. It's gonna sound awesome, guys. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Eat, sleep, drive TV on Instagram. See you next time.